you've been following the channel, then you know that I love solitaire games. And this is a pretty cool solitaire game. It's called Orchard, as you can see there. It's a little box, right? Has some cards in it, has some dice. And uh, it's a nine card uh, solitaire game. It comes with 18 cards for more variability. And uh, also, you know, you play one round with, uh, with nine cards and you got the other nine ready to go for a second round, right? So, uh, gee, Alex, how do you play Orchard? Well, you're going to get uh, 18 of these cards, right? And they come with different configurations of, uh, of, the, uh, of the trees or the, the bushes there. I guess trees, right? With, uh, with the fruit. Now, the instructions don't say what kind of fruit they are, but um, I don't know. I'm guessing they're apples, pears, and grapes, right? Anyway, it doesn't really matter what those fruits are, but uh, they're fruits. It's an orchard. You're uh, collecting fruits for points. So um, how do you play? So you're going to shuffle those. You're going to deal nine cards uh, to yourself. And one card you'll put on the table. Bam! That's the start card. That's going to be in the center of the table there for you. By the way, this game is not going to take a lot of space on the table. So you can play in a fairly small space. Because what you're going to be doing is overlapping these cards, right? And you overlap them with uh, uh, fruits uh, that match uh, the color. Um, let me see if I can uh, give you a quick example here. Well. Here's an easy one, right? You wouldn't do this because uh, you could probably do better. But if you overlap that purple there, that grape, right? Then you get to put the purple dye on one, okay? And that's how you begin to collect points. If you overlap that tree again, that one jumps to a three. If you overlap it again, that three jumps to a six. If you overlap again, that six turns to a 10. Bam! Those are real points, by the way. All right, 10 points, that's great. Now, sometimes you may have a, a, you know, an orientation where you're gonna you know, get a lot of points for a couple of the other trees, but you know, one of the trees is not gonna match colors. Well, that's where uh, these little spo uh, spoiled tokens come in. You can use up to two spoiled tokens per game. If you use a spoiled token, okay, uh, those can never be overlapped again, and you get minus three at the end of the game. So, little instruction book, you know, it's, it's quite simple. This used to be a print and play game. It probably still is. But um, but the little box and the dice, you know, uh, look at this. The dice and the cards are so uh, cool to play with that, um, you know, just go get the game. Go get one. Um, okay, so let me give you that example again of how to play this. You begin by placing one card on the table. And then as you overlap the cards, right, in this case, you have the... Uh, purple and red so you covered those two purple and red so you put the dice in one right position one so you've collected two points okay as you keep going now this is your third card that you decide to play with uh, you've covered more uh, territory there and you also covered that um, red tree there that apple tree that was uh, on one you covered it again. So now it pops up to three, and these are the new ones, the pairs. So on a following turn after that, look at this, you cover that red one again. So it jumps from a three to a six. And you keep going like this, trying to overlap as many cards as possible. You're gonna deal one to the table and then two to yourself and then uh, play the game. Uh, until you can't, you know, you get rid of all your cards uh, or, you know, you don't, you don't have a play. You can't make a play. In that case, the game is over, and you uh, figure out what your points are. There's a handy-dandy little uh, chart there, right, that tells you what your score is, and you can even write it down. It comes with uh, some space for you to write down uh, your uh, history, your harvesting history on there. 
Um, I'm gonna do a, a, a solo playthrough of this game. Um, I'll post it right after I post, post this video, maybe the next day or a few hours later, whatever. But I will post a playthrough of it because I, I like playing it. And I may as well show you guys what it's like to uh, go through a game. It's quite fun. There's some things to think about, you know, some spatial reasoning. Um, Orchard is a lot of fun, a little game, a joy to play. And... Um, I highly recommend it. So uh, if you like solitaire games, and by the way, you can play this with other people. You just need another set, okay? Uh, and then you can play it with other people and it's uh, basically points, but it's primarily a solitaire game. Orchard, a joy.